hello students understanding of concepts become very interesting when we learn them through activities here we shall perform an activity to learn how to design a tangram puzzle tangram puzzle is a geometrical puzzle which has basically three shapes namely triangle square and parallelogram in order to perform this activity we shall require a thick sheet of paper pair of scissors ruler and a pencil we shall also explore some challenges with tangram puzzle so to begin with let's learn how to design the tangram puzzle first we take a square sheet of paper and we draw the diagonal we mark the diagonal in this manner and fold it along the diagonal similarly we draw another diagonal and fold it along the diagonal now we take this corner and we place it at the center of the diagonals that is point of intersection of diagonals now we draw this line it is parallel to the diagonal in this manner and with this end again we place it at the center and we fold in this manner to obtain a square and a small triangle now we are having how many pieces 1 2 3 4 5 we require one parallelogram and a triangle for that we again fold this paper along horizontally in between to obtain the parallelogram now we join this look here we have all the seven pieces now this is first second third fourth fifth this is sixth and this triangle forms the seventh we can cut these pieces and we can form a tangram puzzle tangram provides opportunities to visualize abstractions with greater ease as students can explore various shapes various figures and patterns on their own it also helps to develop a habit of critical thinking and logical reasoning so students can design their own tangram puzzle and they can make number of figures alphabets digits and various shapes of objects tangram puzzle is made up of seven pieces here we can see these are two congruent pieces in the shape of triangle this is smaller triangle this is a parallelogram here is a square and we have two more small triangles these pieces of tangram puzzle are known as tans with the help of these as you have seen that we have made this tangram puzzle with the help of a square piece now let us see if we can rearrange these pieces in the form of a triangle it seems interesting let us try out we have seven pieces of the tangram two congruent triangles of same size here and one more triangle 
is there which is isosceles and we have a parallelogram and one square and two more small right triangles which are congruent to each other. Thus, the seven pieces of this tangram are known as tans. As we have seen that these pieces were cut out of a square. Now, let us arrange them and see whether we can give them a shape of a triangle. Let us try out. Yes, I think we have a triangle now with all the seven pieces arranged. So, it was interesting to see that these tans can be arranged in the form of a triangle. Now, let us see can we arrange these pieces in the form of a rectangle. Two pieces here comes the third one. Now, this is our square here comes another triangle. This is a parallelogram. Yes, this forms a rectangle. So, students, we have seen that this tangram, which was found out of a square, can be arranged in the form of a triangle and a rectangle. Let us see some more challenges possible with this. Here, as we had seen that tangram is found out of a square piece. We can see here 7 pieces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Again, they were rearranged to form a triangle and a rectangle. Similarly, you can also try out some figures like here we have made a rabbit out of 7 pieces with the tangram. We can see here first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and this is the seventh piece. Similarly, we can also design the shape of a dog with the pieces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. In the same way, we can also have the shape of a cat here. See the pieces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Is it not interesting? Even you can try out various figures out of this tans. So, students, we can make many patterns and figures with the help of tangram. It is very interesting. The possibilities are endless. You can try on your own.